Tableau has a lot of data connectors using which you can connect to a variety of databases including Microsoft Excel, SQL Server, Oracle, SAP, Teradata, Big Data, Hadoop tools, so on and so forth. In total, there are 40 plus data sources to which Tableau can connect to using these optimized data connectors. For those data sources which do not have a native connector, we can always use a generic ODBC connector. Tableau has two modes of connecting to the data source. One is called as live connection, another is in memory. Now it's very easy for one to switch between the live connection and the in memory connection, as in how you wish to. Tableau data connectors leverage your existing data infrastructure and they do it using SQL connector, using MDX connectors. You can pass your SQL statements or MDX statements directly to the source database rather than importing the data into Tableau. For example, say you have invested a lot of amount on some kind of analytics optimized database such as SAP HANA, right? You can gain the benefits of that investment by connecting live to your data rather than extracting the data and storing it on, storing it on Tableau and then working on that. This means that you would be effectively able to utilize your existing infrastructure. And we know for a fact that Tableau is front-end analytics client for a lot of databases in the world. Tableau has optimized each and every connector to take advantage of the unique characteristics of each data source. Now, what is this MDX connector here? What is MDX all about? If that is what you're wondering, now let me tell you that MDX is one form of connecting to your data source and the abbreviation of this is multi-dimensional expressions. This is also a query language for your OLAP databases. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing, right? And MDX is a query language for extracting the data from those kind of databases alongside SQL queries, which most of you all are already aware of. Live connection is one mode of connection. Another mode of connection is in-memory. Tableau has a very fast in-memory data engine that is optimized for analytics. You can connect your data, on a click of a button, extract your data and bring it to your in-memory and start working on that. This Tableau's data engine fully utilizes your complete system to ensure that it provides you the fast query response despite having hundreds of millions of rows of data and that too on your commodity hardware. Because this data engine can access your data storage also alongside making use of your RAM, which is random access memory, and also your cache memory. It is not limited by the amount of memory on the system. In this way, it makes your entire analysis super fast thanks to the fast data engine. Also, your Tableau server has a lot of components. The first component, let us get started with application server. Application server is going to handle the browsing and the permissions for your web and mobile interfaces. For example, when a user opens a view in a client device, that user automatically starts a session with the Tableau server. And this means that 
application server thread is going to start and it's going to check the permissions for that user and for that specific view that the user is interested in. We have something called as data server. This Tableau data server lets you centrally manage and store Tableau data sources. Not just this, it also maintains the metadata from Tableau desktop. It's going to take care of the calculations, if at all you have any definitions, and if you are planning to create any groups within the data, you are free to do so, thanks to this data server. And the published data source can be based on Tableau Data Engine Extract or a live connection to any of the relational databases. However, here, cubes are not supported. That's one thing which we need to bear in mind. And let me explain you about WSQL Server. What is this WSQL Server? Once a view is open, the client is going to send a request to the WSQL process. This WSQL process, in turn, sends queries directly to the data source, whatever be your data source. And it is going to return you a result as an image, which one intensity view. Each WSQL server has its own cache that can be shared across multiple users. So these are the benefits. And these are the main components of Tableau Server. And then we have another component called as Backgrounder. This Backgrounder refreshes if you have established a scheduled extract. For example, you might say, hey, establish a live connection with Hadoop and try to extract the information once in every 24 hours. Once you establish this rule, <coughs> the backgrounder is going to extract the information once in every 24 hours without you having to trigger this option every now and then. And it manages all the other background tasks. Also, we have another component within Tableau architecture, which is called as Gateway or Load Balancer. Gateway is the primary Tableau server that routes requests to the other components. Requests that coming from the client, when I say client, it can be from your desktop, it can be from your browser, it can be from your mobile. The moment you want to say view a visualization, it first connects to this load balancer or gateway. And then it is routed to the appropriate process. And do you know what? If multiple processes are configured for any of the components, the gateway will act as a load balancer. And then it's going to distribute the request to the processes. Whenever a particular component is busy, your load balancer is going to distribute the load onto the other servers. That's the beauty of Gateway. And the Tableau server provides interactive dashboards to a variety of users. There are no plugins required. And Tableau Server supports the web browsers such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. Tableau Server also supports your mobile Safari, wherein it is touch optimized. You can just touch the views and automatically view the visualization of your choice. There is a native iPad application. There is a native Android application and you can also use it on Android browser. Wow! So it's fully capable when it comes to establishing the connections with web browsers and mobile applications.
and we have Tableau Desktop. This desktop is called as Rapid Fire Authoring Environment, which is used to create your views, create your reports, create your dashboards, and then publish those onto your server. Using Tableau Desktop, a report author can connect to multiple data sources, explain relationships, create the dashboards, modify the metadata, and finally, you can publish a completed workbook or data source to Tableau Server. Tableau Desktop can also open any workbooks published on Tableau Server or connect to any of those published data sources, whether published as an extract or as a live connection. So these are the bunch of benefits. And this is, in a nutshell, what your Tableau architecture is all about.